Now in our next story, pupils in some basic schools in Accra have bemoaned the poor nature of food served under the school feeding program. The students raised the concerns during Joy News' checks over the declaration of a nationwide strike by caterers on the school feeding program. James Kwesi Aveji has more in this report. We've been to some uh, two uh, public schools in Accra and what we have picked up is that all two schools, uh, the caterers in all two schools have reported to work. In fact, and where we are right now, uh, we may not be able to identify the school because the officials that we have been speaking with uh, would want uh, it to remain so for the fear of victimization, what they call uh, uh, victimization, since they have decided to defile the oaths uh, of the national directive. But they explained to me that the reason why they have decided to uh, defile the oath is for the interest of the students. The indication we have is that they have reported to school and they are feeding the kids. As you can see, uh, the school uh, we are right now is serving the children uh, banku with okra uh, uh, soup actually and so uh, that's what they are feeding the kids in the other school we went they would not allow us to take uh, any form of uh, interaction or visuals from what is happening but the assurance they gave us is that the caterers are actually at work and uh, feeding the children we can interact with some of the children to know uh, what they feel uh, whether they actually know the caterers are not supposed to be at work at all and they are, uh, uh, what they feel about this whole dish that they have been... Please, yes. You have heard that they are supposed to be on strike? Yes. But are they on strike? No. Why? Please, because the food, the food that um, the caterers are cooking for us is not good at all. Mm -hmm. they, they don't bring for us yam and koto still. No meat, no anything, no egg. And the bonku too. Sometimes the the soup is water, water. They they are not cooking it well. The beans and the rest of the food too are not good at all. I need they should please they should cook fast. Yeah, my cotton breast too. The beans, it always they like bringing beans, and the beans too is like water. There is no oil on top. There is no plantain, and the rice too. The steel is too like water. There is no some kinds of things in the steel. So I like it to be comfortable so that I can eat it. And I don't eat it always because of how they cook it. Uh, so today what were you giving? I do not eat the food. Why? Because I've eaten. I've buy food and I've eat. And because of how they do the food, I can't eat it. But you know what they were supposed to eat today? Yes. What, what were they supposed to eat? Today they ate banku. They don't bring jollof always. It's once a while. Then, and the banku to the soup is once a while that is thick. Always is too like water. So, so what do they put on it? Is it fish or meat? Nothing. Wow. Yeah. So today's own to had nothing on it? Yeah. It will affect me by not eating because my mom doesn't give me enough money to come to school. So by all means, I have to eat the caterer's food. So it will really affect me. So if you don't, your mom doesn't give you money, would that mean that you will not come to school at all or you come and go hungry? I'll come. But you know, some of my friends, if I ask them, they give me so I can come and go. So you just heard the, the bellboy ringing for break over as the students are entreated to go back to their classroom after being served with the school feeding food. So that's the situation here in some of the schools that we have been visiting uh, around Accra uh, on today as the caterers, school feeding caterers nationwide have declared a strike beginning today, Thursday, uh, the 27th of April 2023 until their demands from government are met. For Joy News, my name is James Kwesi Aveji.
Let's head uh, to the Ashanti region now and Love News' visit to some schools uh, reveals some caterers under the school feeding program have resumed work. Now pupils in the state experimental and Eija cluster of schools are among schools where students were served lunch this week. There is more on that in this report. I think it's one out of thousands because um, looking at Ashanti region we are 600 or more. And if you see one person or two people cooking, it means that it's one out of thousand. And I also believe that those people, they have advantage over the poor women because um, they know how to get their money and that is why they are comfortable doing it. Otherwise, I don't see why they should cook. Have you been able to confront these women and um, what was their reaction? What did they tell you? Yes, personally, I asked one woman and she told me, um, she can't wait to, um, she, she's having um, some stuff there, like um, she has some beans and then some rice over there and she wouldn't want to throw them away just because we are on strike, so she would rather cook for the children and that is why she's cooking. Oh no, a lot of them, a majority, about 98%, they are poor. Those who can be on their feet and cook, they are about 2% out of the thousand and so, we, we believe that <laughs> there is something, there is something going on. Otherwise, I don't see why you will cook at this time. You don't know how much they are going to pay you. If you cook this time, it means that we are going back to the third term, the three terms. Because we have last year, third term one, we've cooked the first term, and now this is the second term, making the three terms. So are we, are we now going by three times, three times before one, uh, one time is paid? No. And I don't think those women really understand what is going on. So we can't, we can't force them. Oh, but you went around. You said you saw two people. And so if you have a whole Ashanti region and only two people are cooking, then it's not significant. It's not significant at all. And we thank God. That, but we are pleading with our leaders that they should give these poor women a listening year because they are bitter, they are in pain. I know that teachers go on strike and they give them a listening year. Why are they refusing to give these poor women a listening year? I believe elections are coming and they will still need these poor women to go down there and do those donkey work. And I'm afraid. So for the four weeks that you've withdrawn your services, um, you've not been invited to any quarters to, to listen to what you have? Nobody. Only threatening. If you don't cook, we'll take the screw. If you don't cook, we'll deduct it. And these are kind of words that we hear from them. But what pains me most is that those who are doing that, they are old people. They've enjoyed their life. And now they want to provoke the younger one then and go away. And I don't think they love even MPP. If they want MPP to be in power again, they will never treat these poor women this way because they are going to also treat them bad coming this election. They say it. And that is why some of us are voicing out for them to hear.